Good morning again, guys. All right, so I want to kind of give you a little bit more detail or more information, I don't know how you want to put it, on what I was talking about this morning, about the shiny object and diverting our attention from one thing to another. I talked about this a little bit on the live stream last night. Uh, maybe some of you guys are familiar with what's going on. Maybe you're not. But let me ask you this, okay? Did you hear the stories recently about the school up in the Chicago area that was showing sex toys to 14-year-olds and the school administrator was perfectly fine with it? Remember that one? Okay. Did you see the story, oh, a week or so, maybe two weeks back, where the guy was talking about, the employee of Pfizer was talking about what they were doing to, choosing my words carefully here, uh, manipulate pathogens. Boy, that's a tough one trying to figure it out. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. You know, just a couple of those. You know what they have in common, right? James O'Keefe. Do you know who James O'Keefe is? James O'Keefe was the founding, per, the person who founded Project Veritas, okay? The probably, I'd say at this point in history, the premier investigative journalist publication that goes out. I mean, they find a lot of the dirt that nobody wants to talk about. I mean, how many stories have you all heard about Project Veritas infiltrating something, and whether it was eBay or Amazon or Microsoft or any of the tech YouTube, uh, and finding out the dirty little secrets kept underneath, okay, that keep us from knowing the truth, you know, Trust me, the, the truth is not something that the current administration wants anybody to know, all right? So they've got to do whatever they can to squash the truth. Well, Project Veritas got bigger, built basically entirely by James O'Keefe, and there's a board of directors. The board of directors was trying to fire James O'Keefe. The guy that built the whole thing. I mean, Project Veritas is James O'Keefe. You get rid of James O'Keefe, there is no Project Veritas. Okay, But there's a board of directors that wanted him fired. This was going around yesterday. And, of course, a lot of the big donors to Project Veritas, probably the biggest one because he's one of the richest men in the world, Steve Wynn. If you know who he is, he's you know the Wynn Casino in... Vegas, if you've ever been out there and seen the two uh, hotels and everything like that, they're enormous. They're beautiful. They're enormous. You know, whatever it would be. A lot of these people threatening to cut off funding to Project Veritas. So overnight, what the board at Project Veritas has come out to do is said they're going to suspend James O'Keefe for two weeks, and he's forbidden to talk about what is going on. Now, this is why one of those other reasons why you never give up control. He's an investigative, jur investigative journalist. He wanted to be out in the field. He didn't want to be sitting in a boardroom or something like that. Mistake. Okay. But that's just one way that they are that the administration is trying to censor the truth. If you don't think that the Democrats have their grimy little paws in the board on Project Veritas, who smoked more crack than Hunter. Okay. Anybody heard about the Global Disinformation Index? Oh, yeah. This is a real thing. It's a foreign think tank. <laughs> yeah, where people can't think. Based out of the United Kingdom. Okay. And they've released an assessment of American online media. Okay showing basically that, you know, where the disinformation is coming from and where the truth is coming from. Okay, these are things we need to pay attention. I want you to hear this. This is, this is humorous at best. According to the GDI, the Global Disinformation Index, 
These are the most reliable news sources in the United States. You know, like this. The Huffington Post is number one. The New York Times is number two. Washington Post, the Associated Press, NPR, ProPublica, BuzzFeed, USA Today, Insider, and the Wall Street Journal. Okay. Nine of ten are uber left, and the Wall Street Journal is probably centrist. Used to be much more conservative. It's pretty much come into a, a center, center left publication at this point. Okay. Those are the most trustworthy sources. If you can trust anything out of the Huffington Post, the New York Times, the Washington Post, <laughs> more power to you. Okay. I mean, it's Comedy Central is better. I mean, you know, Don Lemon is about as trustworthy as any of those. So then you get into this site. These are the least reliable, according to the GDI. The New York Post, Real Clear Politics, Reason Magazine, The Federalist, The Daily Wire, The Blaze, One America News Network, The American Conservative, Newsmax, and The American Spectator. Those all are on the right side of the spectrum. So according to this think tank, <clears throat> the only reliable news source you can get is liberal news, okay? Because, you know, the liberals were so right about, oh, I don't know, that would be a good start. You know, let's just think about this one. You know, you probably know about AT&T, who owns DirecTV, pulling Newsmax from their channel listings. They're not going to do it anymore. Saying, oh, they want too much money, right, to be on, on DirecTV. Until you look at the facts and the minimum request, the minimum they pay is $1 per subscriber. Okay? That's what a channel will get. That's what Newsmax was asking. They were asking for the minimum amount to receive the minimum amount per subscriber to get on there. They were the fourth, or they are, the fourth highest rated cable news network. Okay, They fall behind Fox, CNN, and MSNBC. Number four is Newsmax okay? for viewership. Yet, you have all these other channels that can be on there on DirecTV, provided they push a liberal agenda. <clears throat> okay, It's kind of hard to nix Fox from something like that because they're number one threefold over the number two. Okay? But this is what's going on, guys. Conservative media, the truth... Okay. Told you about this morning's video. It took over two hours for YouTube to give me their blessing to put that video up. Who knows how long this one's going to take. Right. You know, two hours to review a, what, 11-minute video? Something like that. Hmm. How many times do they have to watch it? Your voice, my voice, is being silenced. You know, Mark Stein, if you're familiar with him, okay, uh, was basically fired slash quit from GB News in Great Britain. Mark Stein is a very conservative pundit. You've probably seen him on Tucker's show or some other Fox shows. He come on there occasionally. Because GB News didn't want him pushing his conservative viewpoints. If we get rid of a free press a free media where both sides can be heard. And now the only thing you can hear is propaganda that the government wants, that one side wants. 
you're no longer a free person. You're a slave. This is what they're going to. How long is it going to be until we're in a North Korea type, a China type situation with the internet where the government decides to block websites that you can't go look up stuff? That the only thing that you can hear is the government approved story. Does that sound like communism to you? You know, the old, the funny thing, the big newspaper in Russia, Pravda. Okay? If you want to know what Pravda translates to, it's the truth. Okay. Yeah. Because the liberal establishment believes that they're the only ones that tell the truth and they're doing whatever they can with this GDI thing to stop advertisers from advertising on those 10, if not more channels, you know, on YouTube, uh, that again, two hours this morning, why they want to make sure that you know, before they put it up that my video is okay for ads. Oh God, it's a conservative viewpoint. We don't know if we want to do that. They're trying to silence you people. Be aware. Know that. It's coming up public. But if this is where the only thing that you have to listen to, if the most reliable news source in the world is the Huffington Post, we're doomed. <laughs> there ain't no question about it. Keep doing the research yourself. Those 10 right there that are the most reliable tell me something that do not ever look there for information. Not that I use any of them as sources unless I want to make fun of something. Uh, but yeah, there's your propaganda. Find the facts.